What's, uh, how many changes do you anticipate making tonight? Oh, I'm not too sure yet. We'll have our training, training session, uh, do match committee and then put the team in. So, yeah, not sure yet. You mentioned on the weekend that you were keen to get a lot of young guys into the side, do you think? No, I'm not sure I specifically said that. I said, obviously, we, we keep going down this path. There's going to have to be some change. And, but look, at the end of the day, our effort was really good. We, did we get our method right? Not to the level we want. And there's been a, a lot of discussion about that clearly. So we're really confident we can play football like we did early in the year and, and, and remedy that and, and uh, you know, really aim to get the four points. Russ, there's been a lot of talk about you this week. You're an experienced coach. Uh, personally, how do you handle the scrutiny of this week in particular? I, I, I was talking about someone from Melbourne, and actually another journalist. So I said, I'm actually in a vacuum over here. So my wife's been away, I've had the three kids, dropping them at school early and all those things and um, coming into work. Um, so I haven't caught too much of it and I've heard it all before. So all I know is experience a lot of highs over my coaching career and previously at St Kilda with that play group and you know, been to grand finals and in front twice time on in grand finals. So, you know, it's reasonable. The teams I coach, if they play perfect football the whole time, no. Clearly, they've played some great footy for a majority of the time. Um, this week, to answer your question, I just focus on what's important, which is preparation and to lead the team and, and give solutions. And we certainly walked out the review crystal clear, the three areas we needed to fix. And, you know, I thought our effort was unquestioned for a long period of the game. I thought it was a brutal contest. I thought it was tight and it was tough. We certainly slaughtered the ball. Um, I'm on record, 6PR, did we have the forward structure in front of the ball that we wanted? No, but that's easily remedied. And it's, easily, it's easy for it to go the other way during game day, and it's hard to fix at the time. But certainly, we're crystal clear on, on what's to be fixed and how to do it. So there's certainly no panic. But as always, and I say to my players, and advice for you, if you have any anxiety or stress and whatever you're feeling, emotions are just feelings. You know? So whether you're happy, confident or stressed, focus on what's important and that's getting into action. And that's what we do as a club, that's what I do as a coach. So I just focus on Adelaide and the team and preparing and, and you find the weeks fly and, and you get results. And, and at the end of the day, results are just feedback on how you're going about things. And um, you know they, they sort of tell you where you need to go. And that's clearly what happened on the weekend. You know, early in the year, getting good results last two weeks tailed off, but all, all results are a feedback. So it just tells us where we need to improve. So we're crystal clear what needs to be done. Is your game style, uh, or what you, because you talked about your achievements at St Kilda, are you doing similar to what you did at St Kilda? Is the game style very similar? Well, I think it's a work in progress, isn't it? We're, and that after round one, what were we, you we said? Do you know what I mean? So the, the media's in the business of build up or rip down. So, you know, it's just opinions. We're in the business of trying to improve. But we understand the scrutiny, you know. Sorry, do you think you're missing types of, specific types of players for your particular game plan? Not particularly, not particularly, no. What about this week? Are, are you thinking maybe Nick Lowe and Nick Subin have a chance to come in? Oh, no, I thought I answered that question. I thought we're going to train, have match committee and then put the team in. Ross, what do you mean of Adelaide this season so far? I think they're pretty good, aren't they? You know, they're sort of playing with a real energy and hardness and, and enthusiasm that uh, is going to be a big challenge, but one we're really confident of meeting. Are you surprised at their improvement so much this year? Nothing surprises me in AFL football. Not anymore. Ross, do you, this week in particular, do you set about changing what you're doing or just the quality of, of what you're doing? What's the, the focus on? Like, are you trying to keep what you're doing and do it better? Than you have been doing it all. Well, clearly, I don't think it's really reflective of the football we've played this year. I, I, don't, I didn't hear any of this in the first five rounds. Well, bits and pieces. Do you know what I mean? So, do, do we play to how we wanted to play exactly and structure up and all those things? As I said, you're in late. So, on 6PR Monday night, I addressed that. No, we're, we're trying to, you know, organise ourselves in front of the ball better. Have I been involved in games like that before? Yes. Have I been involved in great games of football? Yes. Do you always get it right? No. But because we go great effort, we're really clear on what we need to improve. And um, yeah, so we've got clear areas of improvement and you know, proof will be in the pudding.